y'all welcome back to my channel so in this video we're gonna be trying the wet look yep first if you are new here first off welcome on my old time subbies the congregation the rain gang happy curl gang welcome back for another <laughs> video i'm gonna be real honest with y'all okay i wasn't really interested in doing a wet look yeah let me take some um just but i was looking at my comments and a lot of you guys were like are you gonna try the wet look are you gonna try the wet look are you gonna try the wet look who said that who said that then I saw Natural Nieces video and I was like, okay, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta try this. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a test. So what I did was I went ahead and applied my leave-in conditioner, which is the Tropical Moringa by Main Choice. I applied that in the shower. So it's in the shower. I'm not gonna go ahead and get it. I'll try to find it and leave it on the screen so y'all can see what I mean. Woo! So my hair is literally dripping wet. Oh my. So what we're gonna do is make sure that we have detangled hair. Um, the Demon Brush, I feel like, is gonna be my friend when creating this style. It's always been my friend, a month, but um, it's gonna be my friend even more so in creating this style. So you wanna make sure that your hair is nice and detangled. As you can see, look at all that leave-in in my hair. So of course, we're gonna be breaking out the Wet Line Extreme Gel. I hope I have enough to create this look. We'll see. So we're gonna go ahead and just apply it, apply it in sections and pray. Okay, keep on praying, hey, amen. Y'all know I am team get your roots. Uh, I've been saying this for years and in this style, you definitely want to get your roots. And y'all know usually I will go down the center, but we're gonna go from the back and work our way up. The key is to really finding a gel that is going to weigh your hair down and that is pretty thick because you don't want your hair to like poof up. So that's why I chose my beloved Amand uh, Wet Line Extreme Gel. It really is one of my favorites, if not my favorite gel. And I really, really love this combination. The Moringa by Main Choice, Tropical Moringa and the Wet Line Extreme Gel. My hair just always feels extremely moisturized and just the overall feel feels really, really good. Now, I don't think I want mine to go all the way back like I have seen Natural Nisi do hers. How I'm gonna do the front? I know we gonna play up on a baby hair style. Okay. I am going to probably do a center part. I really want my ends to be uniformed since I have all different textures. Let me know if you want me to make a video about um, how to style your hair, having all different textures. So using the Demon Brush is going to help clump your hair together too. I'm gonna make sure that you apply a good amount. You just wanna make sure that it is everywhere. And you wanna make sure that you are really taking your time. So if you think you need to shingle and get your ends so your ends don't poof up, you wanna get your roots. I'm gonna take some of my Edge Booster and we're just gonna take a little bit of it because this is a really strong gel too. And we're just gonna kinda of rub it on top of my hair. Just to kinda of further, you know what I'm saying? make this look how it's supposed to look okay so now we're gonna break out the do again i know you're like this is the third video i know okay we're just gonna go ahead and use a mousse after the gel to kind of set it in place we're really trying to get this wet look popping okay and i'm only applying the mousse on like my curls like i'm not raking i'm just applying the mousse on top. I'm trying to use this mousse to kind of lock in 
my curls in a sense. This is where the fun comes in. It's where the fun, this is where the fun comes in, y'all, which is the Edge Booster. It, I mean, there's just no comparison to the Edge Booster. No, none. They, they come close, but not. Mm -mm. So we go ahead and take the Edge Booster. I got this. This actually, I think, was sent to me, but you can get these Edge brushes pretty much everywhere now. So now we're going to go ahead and create some wet looking adolescent hair okay and this in my opinion is really when you really need to play up your your baby hairs I know a lot of people aren't team baby hair but when doing the wet look it just really sets it off and just makes it look like your hair really is dripping wet so I'm just adding more mousse yeah. Also, what I'm going to do okay, is we're gonna break out the pump it up spray. Y'all know I use this religiously on my edges, and we're just gonna go ahead and actually I'll just do it on my hands. And it's just gonna give that extra shine and that hold. You don't have to do the hairspray because you know the hairspray does have alcohol in it. Use your own discretion. Okay. Look what that just got out of the pool. So what I'm gonna do is kind of curl my ends, make them look a little bit better. All right, y'all, so. So the key to really getting this to work for you is definitely working in sections. Definitely number two, using a heavy gel styler that you know is going to weigh your hair down. Um, if you have thicker hair or even a tighter texture, working in small sections is key. Maybe even taking smaller sections and shingling so that the product just gets on every strand. It needs to be thoroughly cis detangled, okay? Possibly trying a mousse after your gel to kind of like setting it. Even using a setting lotion even before your styler might be helpful as well I used to do that way back in the day now I think about that but uh yeah so definitely trying that and then you definitely want to play up your hairline to kind of give it the effect and as if you know it really is wet and then you can go ahead and wrap your hair so I'm gonna take my scarf and triangle it I'm gonna go ahead and make myself something to eat. We praise God on today. And I'm glad I ain't got a diffuse or nothing like that. We, you know what, this might just be a look. Probably like 30 minutes or so. Woo. Woo. Come on, wet look. Come on, wet look. I don't know if I like it. I just think it looks good on everyone else. I don't think. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Hold up. I gotta get my little Ashanti's better. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't. If you got Ashanti's, you gotta. You better. You better. You you better get these bad boys. Okay. It's different, right? Um. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want people asking me, you know, where I get my lace front from. I don't, I don't want that. Uh, cause then, you know. Wait a minute. Anyway, so I think it'll be cute with some hoops, but I might change my earrings to um, these little earring things that say natural. Um, I'm not really sure where I got them. If I remember where I got them, I'll put it in the, in the description box. This shirt I actually got from Spiritual Word on Instagram. And yeah, so keep on praying. Hey, mom, I think it's cute. You know, <laughs> you know? Um, so I think like wrapping your hair with a long scarf, like I saw Natural Nisi do, I think that's really, really helpful. Also, you guys know I love my wrap strips, which I did not incorporate. Hold on. I live by my wrap strip. So this is definitely going to help with your edges and laying your hair down. Um, I've been using these for a while now. I have, do have a dedicated video on them, but I don't use scarves. So I had to dig deep for this. Okay. But I do feel like this is really helpful in molding your hair, especially if you have a hard time getting your hair to kind of stay molded. <laughs> My hair is still wet, so yeah, I think all I'm gonna be actually dealing with is shrinkage as it dries. My hair is pretty much 
pack down and I know my hair it's gonna look like this it's not going to get bigger the only part that's going to be affected is this part and it'll probably be shorter but all of this will remain the same because that's just how my hair is um so this is pretty simple I don't have super thick hair so maybe that's why I'm not really sure but it wasn't too difficult. I personally like the look a lot more on natural Nisi than I did myself. But I think it'll be cuter with like hoops. I think it'll be cuter with hoops. I look like I look like a boy with makeup on right now. I look like Michael Jackson nephew or something. I don't, like Tito and Jermaine is like my uncle or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I need I need some hoops. Oh oh, come. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, I like this better. I like it with the hoops. Y'all like it with the hoops? I like it with the hoops. Um, yeah, and then the good thing about you doing your hair like this, after like the next day, you can fluff it out, sis, and have a whole other look going. And keep this like kind of like patted down and fluff fish out. Oh, sheesh. Yes, okay, I'm here for it. Yeah, it's, you know, it's what's going around, what's cute and trendy on YouTube, so why not join it in the fun, right? Okay. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.